आगे बढ़ते हैं राइट सो लेट मी गो हेड लेट मी स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज चिमिक हार्ट डिजीज कोरोनरी हार्ट डिजीज एम आई एंजाइना वॉट डज इट मीन लिसन लिसन फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड this diagram can you see this diagram a beautiful diagram you should not draw this diagram in your exam also can you see this diagram you can see the four chambers of the heart yes you can see the left side you can see the right side see the both ventricles left ventricle right ventricle from left ventricle can you see aorta is coming out when left ventricle is doing systole blood is coming in the aorta and from aorta blood is going to all the organs it is distributing pure blood to all the organs so all organs are getting pure blood right the impure blood from all organs is collected by veins All veins drain in SVC IVC, superior inferior vena cava, and impure blood is going in the right auricle. Right from right auricle, impure blood is coming in right ventricle. From right ventricle, impure blood is going in pulmonary artery. From pulmonary artery, impure blood is going in lungs. Lungs is doing the purification. Again, pure blood is carried by the pulmonary vein to the left heart, and the cycle is repeated. You listen, and we already know it. Why you are wasting the time? Okay, I want to tell you something here. Why I have told you this story, the boring story. Everyone knows it. The story is that. this left ventricle is doing systole and diastole systole and diastole and ejecting the blood in aorta whenever left ventricle is systole doing the systole the blood is going in the aorta can you see the wall of the left ventricle yes in the wall of the left ventricle these are the cells again these are smooth smooth muscle cells these are the um, smooth muscle cells or these are known as cardiomyocytes which are present in the wall of the left ventricle these are doing systole and diastole for doing systole they require energy so for, for requiring energy they require oxygen for oxygen they require blood so heart is giving blood to everyone but who is giving blood to heart when heart is contracting blood is going in aorta and all organs of the body all all organs of the body get blood they are very happy we all are getting blood from the aorta but who is giving blood to the heart for giving blood in the aorta so this is the supply of the heart what heart is supplying to you heart is supplying to you via aorta whenever heart is doing the systole see left ventricle is doing the systole left ventricle is contracting so blood is going in the aorta and that is the supply of the heart heart is supplying all the organs but what is the demand of the heart heart is demanding for that heart is saying please also give me blood then only i will work so that is my demand so to fulfill that demand we they, we have a artery that is coronary artery everyone see from the aorta can you see a purple color artery this this artery i'm talking about this is the coronary artery which is arising from the aorta and these are small small coronaries branches of coronary which is giving blood to the left ventricle give me a thumbs up that is a coronary artery giving blood to the left ventricle everyone give me a thumbs up coronary artery giving blood to the left ventricle right so that is the demand of the heart so heart is demanding blood in the form of coronary and heart is supplying blood in the form of the aorta can i say that you are giving blood to heart via coronary so coronary is the demand of the heart and heart is supplying blood to you in the form of the aorta right there is a balance between them whatever you give that only you can get it is a rule of the universe whatever you give now that only you can get you can get back you cannot get more you cannot get less it is a rule it is a universal theorem you can say that need not to be proven if there is a servant at my home whatever salary i will give to the servant that much work i can expect now i cannot give less and ask more i cannot give more and ask less there is a balance between a demand supply ratio everywhere this theorem holds good right so in the heart also this is the theory so heart is saying whatever you will give me via coronary that jitna tum mujhe doge in hindi So, जितना तुम मुझे कोरोनरी से दोगे उतना ब्लड मुझे मिलेगा उतना ऑक्सीजन मिलेगा मैं उतना एटीपी बनाऊंगा मैं उतनी जोर से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करूंगा और उतना ही ब्लड एटम में आएगा सो वॉट एवर ब्लड यू विल गिव मीन कोरोनरी दैट मच ऑक्सीजन आई विल गेट एंड दैट मच एनर्जी आई विल गेट एंड दैट विग्रसली आई विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड दैट मच ब्लड विल गिव इन द एटा If you give me less blood, I will contract less vigorously. I will give you less blood in the aorta. If you give me more blood, I will contract more vigorously. I will give you more blood in the aorta. So this is known as demand supply balance. Demand supply balance. Now imagine a situation if this heart, the coronary is obstructed by atherosclerosis. What will happen? You are giving less blood. You are you are you are, you are decreasing the demand, and you are asking for more supply. Heart will say no. You are giving me less. I will give you less. How can you ask for more? The disease is known as angina. So angina is nothing. It is the imbalance between demand supply ratio. Give me a thumbs up. So again, the link is expiring. One more hour is done. Right. So we have to stop here. Just give me a break of ten minutes. Again, ten minutes. My breakfast is ready actually. So I would like to have my breakfast in ten minutes and come back with full energy. You also eat some. Am I live? Am I back? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Kindly, someone give me a thumbs up in the chat box if I'm clearly visible, audible. Okay, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for confirming. I welcome you all for this session. This is episode three of Pathology Crash Course. Exclusive again for the students. Just we have all the bone sex heart disease. We have covered high high my. I'm supplying teaching the 
five mark question on IHD, or you will get a five mark question on CED. One and the same thing is for the body. Body is giving blood via right. If there is imbalance, it's it, if there is atherosclerosis or any obstruction in the coronary. Imagine this coronary is obstructed, so you are giving less less blood to the heart. But you are asking for more so there is an imbalance between demand and supply that is known as ischemic heart disease or also known as coronary artery disease so okay okay if if you are giving less blood by a coronary coronary is obstructed what will happen if any organ in the body get less blood or no blood that organ undergo ischemia so ball of the heart also undergo ischemia if there is obstruction in the coronary the wall of the heart is not getting blood so wall of the heart will undergo ischemia that's why it is known as ischemic heart disease and since it is due to the obstruction in coronary, it is known as coronary artery disease. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So what is the definition? There is an imbalance between the supply and the demand. Between the supply of the heart and the demand of the heart, that is imbalance. That is known as ischemic heart disease. You should understand the three types of coronaries. Actually, coronaries are two coronaries. Left coronary and right coronary are the two coronaries. Can you see the two coronaries? Can you see left and right? Left coronary is further divided into two branches. Left ascending, uh, um, uh, left anterior descending, and left circumflex. So total, we are having two coronaries: LAD, LCX, which are the two branches of left, and RCA. So total, RCA don't have any further branch. We are having three coronaries. Listen, this is heart. I'm cutting the heart from above and looking from above. So what I will find? See this diagram very carefully. I will find two lumens. This is right ventricle. And this is left ventricle. Can you see the two lumens? Right ventricle and left ventricle. Can you see the two lumens? Can you see? I'm interested in the wall of the left ventricle. Left ventricle have four. This is anterior. This is posterior. This is lateral. And on medially of the left ventricle, we have interventricular septum. Interventricular septum medially. So four sides of the wall. Which coronary is supplying which wall? There are three coronaries and four walls. So one coronary should be double, right? So the first coronary is LAD. LAD. LAD supplies anterior wall. LAD. LAD supplies anterior wall, the complete anterior wall. And okay, anterior wall is supplied by the LAD. Uh, LCX supplies the second coronary. LCX supplies the lateral wall. Right. Which is remaining? The third one. RCA supplies the posterior wall. Right. You have to understand it if you understand the types of the MI. Right. What about the medial wall? Who will supply the medial wall? Tino coronary moving. We are having three coronaries, all are done. So the medial wall is anterior two thirds supplied by LAD and posterior one third is supplied by RC. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. The diagram is crystal clear in front of you. You know what are the four types of coronary? Uh, what are the three coronaries? We are having left coronary and right coronary. Right coronary is known as RCA, no further branch. But left coronary is having two branch. One is left circumflex. And one is left anterior descending, LAD, LCX, and RCA. These are the three coronaries. So LAD supplies anterior, LCA supplies lateral, RCA supplies posterior. And the medial one in dono ke combination se hota hai. In dono ke combination se medial hota hai. Give me a thumbs up. The same is shown here in the diagram. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Jitne audience, itni thumbs up. You got my point. You got the blood supply. Yeah, anatomy mein padha hoga na, first year mein. So this is the same diagram from the Hirschmann. Can you see? Can you see the left ventricle? Please appreciate the lumen of the left ventricle. This is lumen. I'm interested in left ventricle. See anterior wall. Let me zoom this diagram. See anterior wall. Anterior is supplied by LED. See lateral. Lateral is supplied by LCX. See posterior. It is supplied by RCA. See the medial. See the medial one. So anterior two third by the LED. Posterior one third by RCA. So everyone give me a thumbs up if you got the blood supply of the heart. If you got the blood supply of the heart, let me move ahead. Let me move ahead. So that is the same thing written. Let me move it. Just a second. Now, obstruction occurs. Obstruction can occur of any coronary. Okay. If the obstruction, you yourself tell me, if obstruction occurs of LAD, so anterior wall will not be provided blood. So this wall will have ischemia. If LCX is obstructed, lateral wall will have ischemia. Right. And if RCA is obstructed, post, uh, posterior wall will have ischemia. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So ischemia, MI. MI can occur in the anterior wall, lateral wall, posterior wall, depending which coronary is obstructed. So if I say there is an atherosclerosis in LAD, you will say my obstruction is in LAD. So infarction will be in anterior wall. If it is in lateral, uh, uh, it is in LCX, it will be in lateral wall. If it is posterior, it will be RCA, it will be posterior. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. You got it? Say yes or no. So if you got it, what is the sequence of obstruction? Sequence of obstruction kya has me, which is most commonly obstructed among three coronaries. So this is the sequence. See, I'm writing in front of you. 
the sequence is LAD, most commonly obstructed, followed by RCA, followed by LCS. So the two left are separated by right and middle. This is the sequence. So tell me, infarction is the most volume hoga. Since LED supplies anterior, so anterior is the common hote hai infarctions. RCA supplies posterior followed by posterior. Or lateral is least common hote hai infarction. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. You got my point. You got the sequence. The sequence of obstruction is LED followed by RCA followed by LCX. This is the sequence of obstruction of coronary by atherosclerosis. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Since LED supplies anterior wall, RCA supplies posterior wall, and LCA supplies lateral wall. So this is the sequence of infarction in corresponding wall. Infarcts, MI are most common in anterior wall, and MI are least common in lateral wall. Give me a thumbs up. So these all basics, if you understood the normal distribution, let me come on IST. Due to infarction in any, uh, due to obstruction in any of the coronary, any of the three coronary, four things can happen. Either angina or MI or chronic heart disease or sudden death. These four together known as ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease. So if an exam, five mark question is coming on ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease, examiner is asking you to write all four. Examiner is asking you to write MI also, angina also, chronic heart disease also and sudden cardiac death also. It is, a, it is a syndrome, you can say. So it is an umbrella term having four diseases. But I'm not teaching you all four. I'm teaching you these two. So five mark question can come on this. Five mark question can come on this also. And this also, right? Individually also. If it is five mark question, ischemic heart disease, you are you write small, small thing on all four. But if it is MI, you write MI in detail. If it is angina, you write angina in detail. These two will not come separately in your exam. Give me a thumbs up. So let me start angina first. First, I will teach you angina, then I will teach you MI. If ischemic heart disease is coming, both you have to write. That is my point. Give me a thumbs up. If you exam mein ischemic heart disease, you have to write angina bhi hai, MI. Bhi hai. Individually, an angina is written, then write angina. Put likho. Phir MI mat likho. Individually, MI is written, then write MI. Likho. But ischemic heart disease is written, then write down both. That is my point. Give me a thumbs up. So let me teach you angina. Both are due to coronary obstruction. Then what is the difference? Why there are two different diseases? Angina is different, MI is different. Because both are due to obstruction of coronary. What is the problem? So what is angina? Angina is chest pain. Patient have chest pain. Typically chest pain. Angina is nothing. It is substernal pain. Just on the left side. Substernal left side chest pain. So it is, it, it is not continuous. It is an attack like asthma. So patient have chest pain. Then patient become normal. Again patient have chest pain. Then become normal. And between two attacks. It comes in attacks. Between two attacks patient is absolutely normal. Like asthma. It is not a continuous disease that, that once it is happening, it is always. No, it comes in attacks. Pathology mein attacks ko kehte hai paroxysma. Paroxysma means it is coming in attacks, right? So any disease which, which is paroxysmal, it is angina, it is a disease which comes in attacks. It comes in recurrent attacks in which patients have substernal pain.
or not pain you may see chest discomfort it is chest heaviness that is the definition of angina give me a thumbs up so definition is this patient have chest discomfort substernal discomfort give me a thumbs up and that is in attacks that is paroxysmal and recurrent attacks that is not continuous so this is the definition of angina you understood demand supply imbalance ki wajah se ye ho raha hai so see this is the diagram see this is the diagram let me teach you the three types of angina stable angina known as classical angina ye two mark question hai right unstable angina it is a two mark question prismatal or variant angina it is a two mark question tino individually two to two mark question hai and of all are coming it is a five mark question if all angina pe aata hai to you have to write all three types so i will show you three diagrams for the three angina let me start with the first one stable or classical angina it is the most common type of angina among the three among the three the most common is the stable or classical the most common what is happening in this listen this is a diagram can you see the coronary let me zoom out can you see what is the problem with the coronary in the coronary there is atherosclerosis so it is partially obstructing the lumen not completely so this is the coronary the lumen of the coronary is partially obstructed by the atherosclerosis give me a thumbs up in stable angina so what will happen you tell me the story so you are giving as usual as compared to normal you are giving less blood to the heart because coronary is partially obstructed just suppose it is 20% 30% obstructed so you are giving only 70% of the blood is to heart as compared to standard normal flow give me a thumbs up so heart will say you are giving less to me i will give less to you it is a rule so if you are giving less i will give you less so heart will contract less vigorously right so heart will give less blood to the aorta jitna tum doge utna hi wo tumhe dega give me a thumbs up so you are getting less blood in the aorta i'm not saying zero you are getting less blood less blood but that blood is sufficient for rest if i'm not doing anything and just sitting so that much sufficient blood that is for basal metabolism my organs are getting blood i'm not having any trouble i'm not but imagine if i start running if i start jogging if i do exercise or anything which increases my physical activity at that time my body is demanding more blood my muscles are contracting i'm running my muscles are contracting they are asking i i need more blood so they are asking so my organs require more blood at the time of exercise they are asking the aorta please give more blood ask the heart to pump more vigorously we require more blood so they are asking aorta so aorta is saying heart can you contract pump more vigorously organs require blood heart is saying no because you at the time of activity also you are giving less blood to me there is a fixed atheroma you are giving 70% of the blood to me so i will also give 70% of the blood to you so at the time of the uh physical activity patient have chest pain so the the the, the heart cells are not getting proper blood you are giving less blood and asking for more contraction so there is temporary ischemia the word here is temporary transient so transiently there is ischemia it is not permanent permanent ischemia is mi there is transient ischemia in the wall of the heart that will cause chest pain so if the patient have chest pain at the time of exercise patient will sit down at, at as soon as the patient will rest the chest pain will disappear so patient will have chest pain at the time of exercise and the chest pain will disappear at the time of the rest give me a thumbs up so that is classical angina the problem is atherosclerosis in the coronary so the reduction in the coronary perfusion due to atherosclerosis play we have understood how atherosclerosis is formed reaction to injury theory Give me a thumbs up. 
Everyone give me a thumbs up. So what is classical angina? It is the most common angina. Here in the coronary, atherosclerosis is there, which is causing reduction in the blood flow of the coronary. So patient have chest discomfort at the time of exertion, but not at rest. So these are the features. Patient don't have chest pain. Patient will say, I am having chest heaviness. So chest discomfort is there, chest heaviness, pressure in the chest. Under se bhari pan lag hai. Right. It occurs on exertion, but it disappears on the rest. This is typical thing. The pain occurs typically for two to five minutes only. That's it. That's it. Right. And pain first increases in intensity, then decreases in intensity. So pain is crescendo, decrescendo. This is the nature of classical angina. If you ask the patient, how is the pain? Describe the nature of the pain. So patient will put a fist, you know, fist yani band mutti, fist on the chest and say, doctor, aisa lag raha hai. Andar se na aisa lag raha hai ki someone is doing squeezing inside my chest, inside my heart. This is known as Levine sign. Levine sign is patient will place the hand or the fist over the sternum and clinch the fist. Aisa karke batayega ki aisa, aisi feel ka rahi andar se. So that is the, that is stable angina. That is a short note. Two mark question, stable angina, write all points. So pain occurs on exertion, disappears on rest. Basically, it is due to atherosclerosis. Patient has chest discomfort. Levine sign. Pain occurs for two to five minutes. Patient pain first increases intensity, then decreases crescendo, decrescendo. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Coming on the second type of angina, unstable angina. What is the problem in unstable angina? How is it different from stable? See, you yourself see the diagram and decide what is the problem in the coronary now. This time, coronary don't have atherosclerosis. This time, coronary have thrombosis. This time, coronary have thrombosis. So it is it is more or less complete obstruction and sudden obstruction. It is nothing related to rest and exertion. So patient can have whenever thrombus is coming at that time or ambulance coming at that time, patient is having pain. So it can be all of a sudden, right? And it can occur at rest also. It can occur uh, at uh, exertion also. As an AEK rest, rest it ho jayega. It will not relieve very less. And it will last for more than 10, 10 minutes. And it is chest pain. It is not discomfort, it is pain. And it will continuously increase in intensity, not decrease. It is having only crescendo pattern. So that is how it is different. Here it is not atherosclerosis, it is thrombosis. And last is Prince mantle angina. What is the problem here? You yourself see the diagram and decide. What is the problem in the coronary? This time, is it atherosclerosis? No. Is it thrombosis? No. Coronary focally undergoing vasospasm. This portion of the coronary is undergoing spasm. Vasospasm. So... Focally, it is undergoing spas for few seconds. For that second, patient has severe chest pain. As soon as spas disappear, patient will have relief. And spas has nothing to do with activity. It can occur at rest also, even it can occur in sleep also. Give me a thumbs up. So here the problem, the patient have spas with the coronary. And it can occur at rest, it can occur in sleep at any time. So we have studied the three types of angina. In stable angina, classical angina, there is atherosclerosis in the coronary. In unstable angina, there is thrombosis in the coronary. And in prismental or variant, there is vasospasm in the coronary. In all of them, patients have chest pain. The chest pain is due to transient ischemia, which is occurring in the left ventricle. It is transient. The word here is transient. Give me a thumbs up. Three different treatment you will give. Two, stable angina. You will operate and uh, atherosclerotic plate could dissolve karna. here antithrombotic drugs you will give here vasospasm and the vasodilators you will give so three different angina three different etiology three different treatment but symptom is common chest pain give me a thumbs up that's it angina so give me a thumbs up now imagine if five 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 mark question is coming in your exam write a long note on angina so what you will write First, you will define angina, right? So you will define what is demand, what is supply, and how it is imbalance. So that you are decreasing the supply and increasing the demand. So there is an imbalance. Because of this imbalance, patients have angina. Angina is nothing. It is chest pain. It is chest discomfort, rather. Pain is other better discomfort, bolo, right? And it is paroxysmal. It comes in attacks, recurrent attacks. It is not continuous. That is definition. After that, describe the three types of angina. The stable one, classical one, the unstable one, and Prince Mantle one, also known as variant one. Describe the etiology of each of them. In stable one, there is atherosclerosis, draw the diagram. In unstable one, there is thrombosis, draw the diagram. In Prince Mantle one, there is vasospasm, draw the diagram. Give me a thumbs up. So three different etiology, three different treatments are there. And pain is different. Here, pain occurs only at exercise, not at rest. But here in both of them, pain can occur at rest also. So treatment is different. This is a long note on angina. So three different etiology, Three different, uh, 
three different treatment and definition. That's it about the anjanga. Clinical form, maybe what you are asking, Ayush, unable to read. Clinical form, maybe. Who's at the high? Yeah, 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 yeah. This new patent care coding. What you are asking about? Okay, in the clinical form also. Yes, yes, exam. Definitely, definitely. According to the new pattern, in a clinical question also, these questions can come. So they will give you a clue that which type of angina it is. So that is about the angina. We are done with angina. Let me teach you MI and finish, finish it. MI, next 10 minutes. What is MI? MI is a long question which will come for five marks. So you should define MI. You should tell me the etiopathogenesis. You tell me the type of infarcts. You tell me the location of infarct. The most important is morphological feature in which you have to draw 10 diagrams with me. The gross and the microscopy. Clinical features, diagnosis, complications, that's it. Now this is a five mark question. You have to write everything. Five mark may yeah, but most important is morphology. If it is coming for five mark, you have to draw these 10 diagrams in the morphology. Otherwise, for three marks, Type of infarcts are important, separately three mark question. Idiopathogenesis is important, separate three mark question. And clinical, yeah, diagnosis is important, separate three mark question. So you can see, am I missing five mark, three mark, two mark, multiple questions can be created. Give me a thumbs up. You have to write your answer in these headings, right? You have to understand the headings. So am I, define am I, write the introduction, definition. What is am I? What is MI? Here, permanent ischemia that will lead to necrosis, right? Here also the corona is going So MI. Define MI. Write the introduction. Definition. What is MI? What is MI? Here, permanent ischemia that will lead to necrosis. Right. Here also the coronary is obstructed. Like angina also the coronary is obstructed. Here also we have like classical angina. We have atherosclerosis here. The like classical angina or it can be sparse due to any reason the coronary is obstructed. So heart is receiving less blood but the obstruction is permanent. So heart is not receiving the blood. So that portion of the heart will undergo ischemia and not only ischemia, after ischemia infarction will be So if any organ receives less blood, less blood means less oxygen. For a longer time, first ischemia occurs and if it is not reversed, then infarction occurs. So in angina, we were having only ischemia, not infarction, but in MI, we are having infarction also. That is the difference between ischemia and MI. In ischemia, you are reversing the blood flow. First you are decreasing and then you are increasing again. You are increasing again. That's why ischemia is there, but it doesn't convert into infarction. Every time transient ischemia is there. But in MI, ischemia already converted into infarction. Infarction is cell death. It is coagulative necrosis. It is irreversible. Once it happens, it cannot reverse. It is permanent. Ischemia can be transient, but infarction is permanent. Give me a thumbs up. That is the difference between angina and MI. The etiopathogenesis is the same. Coronary is obstructed. But then you must ask me, when coronary is obstructed, then why two different diseases? In angina, coronary is obstructed temporarily. In MI, the coronary is obstructed permanently. Give me a thumbs up. So in angina, there is ischemia, which is transient. Once you reverse the blood flow, the ischemia will go. So patients have temporary chest pain. In MI, ischemia is permanent, which convert into infarction. Infarction means coagulatory necrosis. It is cell death. It is irreversible. And patients have permanent chest pain till you don't treat it. Patient can die also. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So you can see this heart. Imagine in this heart, the coronary is obstructed completely. So this portion of the heart is not receiving blood. So for prolonged time, if for one hour, two hours, it is not receiving blood. So the cells here in this portion will die by coagulative necrosis. So this 